Hey what is going on, this is Rob from Panther and today we're going to do this crazy insane gradient effect in Illustrator. Check this out, if I move this, whoa, it's like I'm hypnotized right now. So this thing had been inspired from the one and only Mustafa, Mustafa Abdel Sattar, Mustafa Abdel Sattar. I think that's, a, that's how it's pronounced. You can see his behance right here, I'm going to leave a link in the description. He got like more tutorial on YouTube, you can get inspired. And check this out, it's insane what he's doing with uh, Illustrator. I never knew these <laughs> until now. Mainly I'm going to show you how to set up the gradients because he didn't and uh, I'm going to show you a little bit more details so you can understand better how to make this even faster. So let's do this. Okay, so the first step would be, you know, to set up the colors. And these are the colors and you can see here the color codes that we're going to use. Uh, now, in order to make this faster, you don't need to copy paste the color codes. You can just screenshot this, by the way, really fast. If you have Windows, you can press Shift, the Windows button and the letter S at the same time. And as you can see, this way we can crop the screenshot and press Control V. And voila, we have the JPEG image. From here, what I'm going to do is copy paste these colors. So I'm going to select the eyedropper tool. Here's the eyedropper tool. I'm going to click on the blue i gonna go to the swatches okay i gonna create some folders this is a folder click on the folder i'm gonna rename, rename it as one click ok so it's gonna create a folder here i'm gonna drag the blue drag and drop it into the folder now i'm gonna create a new folder too and with the eyedropper tool i'm gonna copy this color and i'm basically gonna drag and drop to the second folder and do the same thing with the second color drag it to the black And there we go. So the first step is I'm going to select the circle, press and hold shift plus odd, create a circle. I'm going to make this blue. I'm going to press control C and then control F, or you can go to edit, paste in front. This way it's going to paste another circle on the top of the circle. We're going to basically add a gradient on this, but not all kind of gradients. It looks some like this. It's crazy. I know you can drag and drag it out because Usually this is the default, so you won't be able to mix all the gradients in between, but I'm going to show you how to simplify it a little so you can drag it out. Okay, so let's calculate. We got like 16 black colors and then 16 creamy colors. And I'm going to set this to default and I'm going to show you how to do this, uh, you know, a little bit quicker. Okay, so as you can see, we got two circles. I'm going to select the top one. I'm going to go to the gradient, click on the gradient, and I'm going to pull this a little bit back. And I'm going to recolor first this one. I'm going to double click and select the black that we have. And I'm going to also double click on the white. I'm going to select the creamy color. In the black, we're going to get like 16. And then we're also going to have like 16 with the cream color. So 16 divided with 2 is going to be 8. So I'm going to separate this into somewhere here. So we're going to make like 8 here and another 8 here. Okay, so I'm going to divide this in 2. And we're going to make like four and four. I'm going to divide this in two. And I'm going to also divide this like this. So here's like four. I'm going to make four here. See that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to divide this in half. And again, and again. So normally the, this whole composition would be more to the right, but anyways, I gonna we're gonna push it out a little bit this ending. So I'm gonna copy paste, I'm gonna press and hold out and copy paste the creamy color in between the black and just do the same thing with the rest. Whew. Oh yeah, there you go. We did it. I'm gonna press the letter G and I'm gonna pull from this little square a little bit out. Actually, I gotta pull it more like this. So this one is done. And we're gonna go back to the gradient and type in minus 175. It's gonna be like a little bit tilted. And from here, we're gonna change the transparency and we're gonna go to color dodge. From here, I'm gonna press control C and then control F, or you can go to edit paste in front. Now, we're gonna do the second gradient. So as you can see, we got four color from the color palette. So these are the four color. So let's check it out. We got like blue, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight multiplied by two is gonna be 16. 
you know so you got like eight from blues eight from the other blues and so on and so forth so we're gonna select this because we already have here the colors so i'm just gonna double click on the first one i'm gonna change the color so i'm gonna double click and just change the colors like this and it's done for this one we're going to type in minus 173 and now we're going to go to the transparency and we're going to change it to difference and look at that and now i'm going to press ctrl c and ctrl f again and boom there we have it and thanks for watching if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end have a good one bye bye